Defense Factory. We're here with Jake Arnsdorf, who's going to walk us through kind of the barrel making process. We start from everything from barrel blank and how it gets turned through the hammer forging machine and then on to the final product. Jake, why don't you run us through it? Okay, the raw material we use for our barrel comes in as uh, this barrel stock. It comes in in big long sticks as 4150 ordnance grade steel. Uh, the first step is just to cut that down to the size we need to prepare the blank. The first operation, they run a bevel on there and drill out. That's just so it seats in the uh, gun drill. And then that inner diameter is drilled out in the gun drill. From there, it's turned into a prepared blank, which is this bottle here. Once it's turned down to this profile, it goes into the hone, which is a high speed, highly accurate, pretty much like a high speed, really accurate drill bit. It cleans yep. that inside out. Um, gets the inner dimensions perfect so it's ready to go into the forge. At that point, these are loaded in, an arm comes down, picks it up, loads it into the hammer forge. A mandrel is inserted. The hammers converge on that barrel. That mandrel has the chamber as well as the... Right, it basically looks like a case or a cartridge. Right, looks like an empty cartridge. And But it then from there, it has the lands and grooves of the for the rifling. So those hammers follow that mandrel down the whole while that's turning inside. It comes out the other end as a blank. So you can see the difference in length from the time it goes into the forge till it comes out. Um, and each one of these little striations that you see there is a, a different hammer strike. So yep. it's about a six minute process, I guess, from yep. this to this in the hammer but forge. You can see it really gets stretched out. Right. You know, and, and into, into much closer to a final product. Here. Right. So Jake, there's a lot that goes into those cold hammer forging machines, not the least of which is maintenance on the hammers. What do we have going on here? He's actually resurfacing the hammers right now. There's about seven different angles on there. And after a series of parts, say a run of a thousand, uh, we have to do periodical maintenance, uh, like grinding the, get, checking, making sure all those angles are right. And that's what he's working on now. So he's re-grinding those hammers back to the correct tolerances. Exactly, yeah. Right, cool. Yeah, with the force that those hammers produce, it's, you know, it's only a certain amount of time they can go without being resurfaced. Right, so. and sometimes they're striking with about 50 tons of force. Right, correct. So, and after that, we're going to put it on the lathe, right? Right, after that, the first thing that's done is the chamber's located. That may be a little different spot on every barrel. So they find and locate the exact dimensions on that barrel, and then it's turned into a profile like this that we can pretty much run any profile that we do from. So then we can run a bunch of these and store them, you know, so we, right. if we need to change over to different calibers or whatnot. Right. But then from this blank, it goes into another lathe where it's profiled. And this might be your lightweight profile. This is where it's, or government profile. Right, we do M4, getting. lightweight, government, right. any of those profiles are turned from this blank here. Right. So then it goes into another lathe depending on what specific profile that the barrel's going to get. And it's profiled as well as threaded. It's then taken out and the other end is threaded for the, um, barrel extension. Now from there it goes out for finish and chrome and when it comes back that's your finished product there. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes sir.